Hey guys, before getting into this video, I just wanted to plug my merch here like every other lowlife YouTuber on this website. I recently got the opportunity to open a shop on Design by Humans, which is awesome. Spreadshirt is an all right company, but I've heard a lot of great things about Design by Humans, so I'm really excited to be partnering with them. I currently only have four designs on the shop right now, but I do plan to add more. I bought all four of the designs to show them off here in this intro. So if any of the designs tickle your virginity, the link to my shop will be in the description below. Any of these designs can be put on men's, women's, sweatshirts, or any kind of other apparel available in any color you want so definitely go check it out but yeah now that this trash is out of the way let's get into the video yo what is going on youtube max mofo here coming at you with another door opening compilation so today i am actually going to be talking about why i still play on a mobile hotspot as you guys know i actually kind of made a video like this years ago and for some reason it's the third most viewed video on my channel i know a lot of you guys who have been subbed to my channel for a few years already know my story with this whole thing but the story is actually a little different now because i'm actually not playing on my iphone's hotspot anymore like i used to ever since i moved out of my apartment and back into this current house that i've been living at for the past few months or almost a year now actually fuck i moved out of my apartment and back into this house last august holy shit it's almost been a year i miss my apartment but for the past year or so i haven't been playing on my iphone's hotspot like i had before and how i explained i did in that previous video the one that has over a hundred thousand views for some fucking reason apparently there's a lot more people in the same situation or a similar situation to me there's tons of comments on that video with people saying that they're in a similar situation where they can't get internet where they live which is the same situation with me and why i've been forced to play on hotspots because I literally cannot get an internet provider where I live. But last August when I moved back into this house, it was like it, sometime in September when we decided to get it. I actually dropped the huge gigabyte data plan I had to replace it with an unlimited data hotspot. This is a dedicated hotspot. This is what dedicated hotspots look like. Basically like a really old Game Boy. You, I can turn it on. You can see there's like a little screen there. It's got a whole touch screen and everything. I'm not going to unlock it because it's got my password on there. Even though to access the password, you'd have to be like standing right outside my house but basically what the dedicated hotspot is is it is actually made to support multiple devices it's not like your iphone where when you turn on your iphone hotspot it really only has the speeds to support like a laptop or something like that it's really not made for you to play video games off of your console or off of your pc you know but the dedicated hotspot what this is is even though it's not amazing speeds the average speed for this guy is about a three megabyte upload speed and a 15 megabyte download speed which isn't horrible but i've definitely had I've definitely had better and worse connections before so it's like it's all right it's meh but for those of you who don't know that and I just realized my mic has literally been sitting on the side this whole time so you guys probably haven't been able to hear me well nice job Max 10 out of 10 youtuber here see now the audio is gonna be a lot better but for those of you who don't know my whole story with the whole hotspot situation there were a ton of people commenting on the last video I made on this a few years ago I think it was over two years ago I made that video now I lived in my apartment for a year and I've been living in this house for almost a year so yeah it's been like over two years now I think that's so insane like how fast time flies but back then a lot of people were commenting like it's called get a job or it's called move first of all I have a job and I actually pay more for the hotspot than I would a normal broadband connection like when I lived in my apartment I was paying $70 a month for a 150 megabyte download speed and a 50 upload speed so like that's a pretty fucking good connection for $70 a month this dedicated hotspot I'm paying about $130 a month for unlimited data it's a uh, AT&T by the way too for any of you who are looking to get something similar because I know a lot of people are in the same situation as me like I said if you have the money if you can spare the money Money, this dedicated hotspot is definitely a lot better than using your mobile phone for a hotspot and then for the people telling me to move like seriously <laughs> moving's not that simple but yeah it's definitely something I've considered in the past and something I'm trying to do currently I just need to build my credit a little more so I can actually get my own apartment on my own it just sucks because at this house where we live is like down a gravel dirt road in the middle of butt fuck nowhere it's like on the outskirts of Seattle and all the farmland and everything and so because of just where this house is located and where we live, the internet providers like CenturyLink, Xfinity, and all them, they don't want to take the time and effort and money to get service out in this area because it's it would just be for me. It'd just be for this one customer. And they'd probably spend a lot more money trying to get service out here than they would for me to pay them back, if that makes sense. From a company standpoint, it makes sense. It just It's a really shitty situation. So because of that, there's only two really solutions to my whole internet issue, which is one, get satellite internet, or two, use a mobile hotspot. Now, satellite internet does have a decent upload and download speed, definitely better than the three megabyte, 15 megabyte upload download speed of this dedicated hotspot. The problem with satellite internet is you cannot do online gaming on a satellite internet 
whatsoever. When my family first moved into this house, we actually had satellite internet because we didn't know the difference. I could watch YouTube videos on the satellite internet. I could even download games and upload videos. But whenever I tried to game online, it was literally impossible. You can't do it. Or I don't want to say it's impossible because it's not like it, there's nothing blocking you from playing online. It's just the latency is so bad. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me why a hotspot is better. Be it satellite internet, what satellite internet is, is it's just connecting straight up to a satellite, right? And then the internet comes down, connects to your devices, but isn't a mobile hotspot the same thing? Like I've got this dedicated hotspot and my iPhone hotspot, but the latency was better on those, but aren't they doing the same thing? Like the, the logic behind that doesn't make sense to me, but there's some kind of science behind it that just makes it work. But for whatever reason, a hotspot connecting to a satellite coming down, emitting Wi-Fi, and then having my devices connect to that, it's just a better connection than having a satellite dish connected to your house, connect to a satellite. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to me. But basically what the latency is, the like the best example I could have for you guys is I actually made a video playing on satellite internet way back in the day. I made a video on Call of Duty Ghost, and I'll show you a clip right now from one of those old videos. But what would happen is I would actually like throw a flashbang or a grenade or something in the game. It would do the full Everything animation of me throwing the grenade stupid. or whatever, but the grenade actually wouldn't appear in the game world until like a, a second or two afterwards. So the latency overall was just horrible. Like it was really bad. It was just like a two to three second delay on like everything you did in online gaming. It was horrible. So when I say it's impossible to play on a uh, satellite internet, I'm not saying it's actually impossible. I'm just saying it's horrendous. Like I can't deal with that latency. So back then I dealt for a while with the satellite internet, but I was finally like, I can't deal with this anymore. And so I looked online and in forums and stuff, I read that someone had a solution to where they went into their settings on their mobile iPhone. There's a personal hotspot, like the option to turn that on. You just turn that on and then connect to it via like Wi-Fi with your console. And bam, that from there on, I was able to play online with my Xbox 360 with the Wi-Fi adapter or whatever, just running off of literally my iPhone's mobile hotspot. And that's how I played for years until I moved out into an apartment. And then when I moved back into this current house after a year living in my apartment to save up for my PC, as you guys know, I got the dedicated hotspot. The dedicated hotspot itself with AT&T, you have to buy the device. I think the device itself is like $50 or something around there. I, it was such a long time ago. I don't remember how much it was exactly. And then basically you hook it up to your AT&T plan and just add it as another device basically, or add it as like, you basically use this thing as a phone on your plan. And so whatever internet plan or whatever data plan you have across all of your devices is what data plan goes onto the hotspot. And so because I have an unlimited data plan on my mobile phone, it also goes over to the hotspot. If that makes sense, you just add it onto your plan basically as another phone. And that's how the hotspot works. So if any of you guys are with at and and you're in a similar situation as me, the dedicated hotspot, if you can afford it, is definitely worth it. It's about $130 a month for, that's for my iPhone and the mobile hotspot unlimited data plan. It's definitely a bit more than, like I said, paying for the great internet of like Xfinity for just $70 a month. I know I hear horror stories all the time of people saying Xfinity was horrible, but in the entire year I had them in my apartment, I never had any issues with Xfinity. I loved having that great internet, or it might just be because I was dealing with an iPhone hotspot for my entire life. And that was my first time having like upload and download speeds higher than a few megabytes. So it was like amazing for me. I fucking loved Xfinity. So even though the speeds on the dedicated hotspot aren't great, they definitely get the job done. The upload speed is a three megabyte, which is just enough for me to stream in 720p 60 FPS. Like if it was a megabyte lower, I wouldn't be able to. And so there's at least that. Um, Some questions, I I'm trying to think of what questions you guys might have about the hotspot for anyone that's looking to get one. Um, Like I said, there's the touch screen. You can actually unlock it and you can mess with the settings. You can turn Wi-Fi on or off. And then actually you can see there's a wire coming out of it. This is going directly into my PC. And when it's directly into my PC, it's working as if it's a wired connection. And so like on my PC right now, it's not connecting to anything via Wi-Fi. It's wiredly connected to my PC. So you actually don't even need a Wi-Fi adapter to use this if you want to just plug it into your PC. And then basically what I do when I stream is I go into the settings, I turn the Wi-Fi off so no other connection in the house is using it because I need that full three megabyte upload speed to actually stream in 720p 60 FPS. And so if my phone or my Xbox in my other room, if either of those are like connected to the hotspot, I won't be able to stream. And so before I stream every day, I always go on to here, turn off the Wi-Fi so no other connections are connected to it. And then because it's just hardwired to my PC, I'm able to just stream with the full power of the hotspot. Unfortunately though, the three megabyte upload speed isn't enough for me to upload all of my videos. As you guys know, I make a lot of Let's Play videos. Some of them are like a few hours long. And so it does force me to go to the library every now and then. Some of you guys know my story with the library if you've been subscribed to my channel for a few years now. Because I used to 
use my mobile data plan like we didn't back in the day when I played on my iPhone hotspot we did not have an unlimited data plan I don't even know if there was an unlimited data plan back then or if there was it was probably really expensive I would basically play Call of Duty and make my videos and everything on the iPhone hotspot so if I needed to download music I'd download music if I needed to play online for a video I'd play online on the iPhone hotspot but I could not upload my videos off of the iPhone hotspot because we didn't have an unlimited data plan and so it would just eat up all the data on my hotspot because I think I had like 15 gigabytes total between our entire family that we couldn't go over and if we went over every other gigabyte that we went over would be an extra $15 on the data plan which is a crazy amount like a one gigabyte of data is not a lot like you could download a video and it could be a few gigabytes large so what I did back then this is back when I was in high school is I would make my videos and everything at home and I would render it on my laptop and then I would take my laptop to school because I couldn't upload it on my hotspot and I would upload my videos off of the school Wi-Fi now of course as you can imagine I got bullied pretty hard on that shit not gonna go into details obviously but it didn't stop me from making videos because I loved it so much I knew then back then in high school I knew that this is something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life and so what I started doing is I started going to the library in town and I would drive there in my mom's car because I didn't have my own car back then I would sit out in the parking lot in front of the library and I would just connect to them on the Wi-Fi on my laptop and just upload my videos off of stealing the library's Wi-Fi every day and yeah I did that every single day and so now that I actually have a little bit better of a connection with this hotspot I am able to upload my video what I do is I record the video record edit and render the videos the day before they get uploaded well sometimes if the video is a very large file such as like a life is strange episode or any let's play I have that's like over an hour long those videos take about 10 hours to upload roughly and so obviously if like the rendering took all night and I have to upload it that morning it's not gonna upload before the 1 p.m. PST time that I want to upload it by and so what I do then which I've already done a couple times now ever since I got the dedicated hotspot I still have to do it sometimes is after the video is done rendering I'll make the thumbnail upload the video and the thumbnail onto a little thumb drive and then I'll take the USB stick plug it into my laptop and take my laptop and bring it over to the library down the street and just do the same thing I did when I was in high school because the library's upload speed can actually upload like one of those hour-long videos in like less than an hour in about 40 minutes or so and so because of that when I made the little Life is Strange 2 prequel video the other day the uh, amazing adventures of Captain Spirit I had to go to the library to upload that and I actually made this meme in the process too I thought it was pretty funny back to the library but that is gonna have to do it for the video guys I hope you all enjoyed hope I answered some questions and I hope I helped some of you guys out that are in a similar situation. If you're using like your iPhone hotspot, like a lot of people were commenting on the last video, definitely if you have the money, try to get one of these bad boys. The dedicated mobile hotspots are definitely better than just your iPhone. If for whatever reason, I didn't answer any questions you guys had in this video, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them, especially if they're about the mobile hotspot or anything else, the living situation at all. I was really surprised at like how many views the last video got and how many comments there were of people saying they were in a similar situation. I honestly did not think that there were that many people in a similar situation so if you do have I, I'm gonna say similar situation one more time I swear to fucking please do not hesitate to ask any questions you guys might have I'll do my best to answer anything you have to say but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching if you are new to my channel check out some of my other content I make lots of gaming videos and other random crap if you check out my other content and you like what you see be sure to hit that subscribe button and then also the little bell icon next to the subscribe button because that's how you actually subscribe because YouTube sucks and they clearly don't know what the word subscribe means again thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video but until then this has been Max peace